Have you ever wondered why Good Friday, a day that marks a tragic event, is called Good? This intriguing question may have crossed your mind as we observe this solemn day each year. Today we're going to delve into the origins and true meaning of Good Friday, a day steeped in history and rich in significance. We'll explore its roots, its unconventional name, and its enduring relevance in our world today. Stay tuned as we journey back in time to unravel the mystery behind Good Friday. To understand Good Friday, we must first step into the ancient world of Christianity. Good Friday as we know it today has its roots deeply embedded in the early Christian era, a period when the foundations of Christian belief were being laid down brick by brick. The early followers of Christ, struck by his teachings and his life, sought ways to remember and reflect upon his life and his sacrifices. Good Friday, therefore, commemorates the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and his death at Calvary. It's a day of sorrow, a day of mourning, yet a day of holy reverence and gratitude. The image of Christ on the cross bearing the burden of our sins is a powerful symbol of love and sacrifice that has resonated with believers for over two millennia. This sacred day is observed during Holy Week, forming an integral part of the Paschal Triduum. The Paschal Triduum, a term that may sound complex, simply refers to the three days that mark the end of Holy Week. It begins on the evening of Maundy Thursday, encompasses Good Friday and concludes with evening prayers on Easter Sunday. The Friday preceding Easter Sunday, now known as Good Friday, is a day steeped in profound spiritual significance. It's a day when believers around the world pause from their daily routines to reflect on the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus Christ. This day of mourning is paradoxically named good, not because of the suffering it represents, but because of the hope it symbolizes. It's a day that reminds us of the stark contrast between the darkness of Christ's death and the light of his resurrection. It's a day that challenges us to look beyond the immediate pain and suffering, to see the promise of redemption and the triumph of good over evil. So Good Friday marks a crucial event in Christian history. But why good? Let's find out. The term Good Friday might seem paradoxical at first glance. Let's decipher it. Now one might wonder why call a day marking such a somber event good? Well, there are a few theories that might help us make sense of this seeming contradiction. One theory suggests that good in this context was originally intended to mean holy. This interpretation is supported by the fact that in older English, Good was often used to denote days or times of religious observance. If we follow this line of thought, Good Friday would translate to Holy Friday, a day of solemn reverence. On the other hand, another theory takes us back to the olden days when the English language was a bit different from what we know today. In this case, good actually meant God. It's fascinating to think about how language evolves over time, isn't it? So following this interpretation, Good Friday would actually be God's Friday. This would directly link the day to its divine significance, marking it as a day belonging to God, commemorating the sacrifice made on this day. Both theories, though different, lead us to the same conclusion. Good Friday is a day of profound religious significance. It's not good in the usual sense of the word, denoting happiness or joy. Rather, it's good in its depth, its gravity, and its connection to a divine act of sacrifice. So, the good in Good Friday is not a celebration of earthly delights, but a recognition of a spiritual journey, a reminder of the depth of love and sacrifice that is at the core of this holy day. So, the good in Good Friday is a reminder of the sacrifice and the holy significance of this day. Uh, fast forward to today, what does Good Friday mean to us now? In the hustle and bustle of the modern world, Good Friday still holds a sacred place in the hearts of millions. It's more than just a day off work or school, more than just the start of a long weekend. Good Friday is a solemn day of mourning within the church, a time to remember the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and the love he demonstrated through his ultimate sacrifice. Across the globe, churches mark this occasion with special services often held during the hours of noon to three in the afternoon. These are the hours when, according to the Gospels, Jesus hung on the cross. The services are somber, 
with songs, prayers and readings that reflect on the suffering of Christ. But Good Friday isn't only observed within the walls of churches. Many Christians take this day as an opportunity to pause and meditate on the depth of Christ's sacrifice. They reflect on the pain he endured, the love he showed, and the hope he bestowed through his resurrection. In an age where days can blend together and time seems to slip away, Good Friday offers a chance to slow down, to contemplate, and to give thanks. It's a reminder of the transformative power of love and sacrifice, and the hope that springs from the most challenging circumstances. Good Friday, thus, isn't just a historical event, but a day of deep reflection and gratitude. So, we've journeyed through time, exploring the origins and meaning of Good Friday. We dove into the roots of this sacred day, tracing its origins back to the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. We explored its name, Good Friday, a term that encapsulates the paradoxical nature of the day, a day of immense sorrow, yet one that holds the promise of redemption and hope. We also looked at the significance of Good Friday in today's world, a day that transcends geographical boundaries and unites millions in shared faith. It's become a day for Christians worldwide to reflect, remember and express gratitude for the ultimate sacrifice. As we wrap up, let's remember that Good Friday, rooted in history and steeped in faith, is a day of solemn reflection and profound gratitude for many around the world. It reminds us of the power of sacrifice, the promise of hope and the enduring nature of faith.